and you can leave the ship in my capable hands. Did you get enough sleep last night? How are Terra and her gear? She's getting the hang of maneuvering in combat. So far it's all been simulation. But it might be time to put her in the field. She's definitely skilled. She must be good at harnessing GY particles if she engaged the stellar drive without even knowing it. Her gear's all fixed. Once we finish overhauling her cockpit, she'll be ready for combat. The Astoria still had the old version of the cockpit? Some dummy crashed her into Earth before we could swap it out. Uh... Well, I mean, at the time, I had to do what I could to try to stop the gravity loss. Captain, I have a suggestion. Go ahead. Once the Astoria's been overhauled, I think Terra should go on patrol. So she can get some experience in the sector. There are pirates here, so of course Mercury would accompany her, based on my experience. They always target wounded prey. Captain, I'd like to add something. Let's hear it. This craft currently only has a second-rate radar on board. To be honest, it's probably worthless with all the debris and electromagnetic interference here. It didn't even pick up those relayers until they were on top of us. And as the administrator of this ship, my priority is the safety of the craft and the crew. Are you saying Netherworld doesn't help? Netherworld is just the brain of the ship. Unfortunately, no matter how good the brain is, it doesn't mean much without eyes and ears. That makes sense. Got it. Then put them both on patrol. Hey, Akaboshi, did you get that gear ready for deployment? Yes, sir. That settles it then. Terra and Mercury will patrol the area. I'll be babysitting her, you mean. I'm sorry, Mercury. I've never been on patrol. I have no idea how well I'll do, but I'll try my best. Oh, it's okay. It's my job to back you up perfectly, no matter how much you screw up. 
Terra. Mercury will be in a scout gear for this patrol mission. She's a pro with it, so be sure to watch her closely. Yes, ma'am. That's what I like to hear. It's really amazing, Mercury. You're younger than me, but you're good at so many things. It's really impressive. Well, yeah. Given who my sister was, I have to be perfect. Her sister. By the way, Tara, think you could become Mercury's friend? Huh? That's a great idea, son. You can probably see why she doesn't have many friends. Mercury is amazing at everything. Except making friends. That's... that's none of your business. And who says I don't have any friends? Oh. So you do? <sighs> don't you count? I mean friends who are your age. It isn't that I don't have friends. I just... don't want them. Which still means you have no friends. What was that, you piece of junk? Um, uh, I can be your friend if you'll have me. I've been traveling with Yudaka all this time, so... I don't have friends either. What? Uh, no thanks. I don't need any friends. She's considering it. She does seem to want friends. Why can't she be honest? I know what you all want to say. <sighs> okay, fine. If you're really that desperate, Yes, I'll be your friend. Happy? Really? But only if you can show me you can make the cut as a star child. I don't need freeloaders for friends. I have very high standards. Good luck meeting them. Okay, I'll do my best to meet your standards. It's time. Mercury and Terra, get to your gears. Deploy as soon as you're ready. Resource Asteroid Vesta. There was once a terrible war over the asteroids that enabled early space expansion. A dispute between two nations grew into a protracted struggle that extinguished tens of thousands of lives. And now, the will of the stars takes residence in the hearts of the unsung soldiers of that war and gathers them back to this place as if by an unknown force. There once was a war in this sector. This wreckage is all that remains. The catalyst was a dispute over the resource asteroid Vesta, which was towed here from the asteroid belt. Two great powers could not agree on possession of the asteroid. It started as a minor conflict and then grew until the United Earth forces intervened. Hostilities continued for half a year before they were quelled. Debris field understates the fact that it is a battlefield upon which thousands of humans fought and died. There are persistent rumors that this sector is haunted. There are numerous reports of shadowy figures, strange screams, and even rumors of ghostly co-pilots occupying empty seats. D don't you think you could have told me this earlier? Himiko requested that I allow you to experience the thrill of space, and I obliged. You're such a total jerk! I know I'm a big wimp when it comes to this kind of thing. I'm really scared. <sighs> you know we're on mission, right? And yet you're over there just chatting away. Master Terra, there seems to be a large object hidden behind that wreckage. Be careful. Yeah, I know. It's the bridge of the class cruiser. Master Terra? Mm -hmm. How could you possibly know that about an object we haven't seen yet? What do you mean, how... the... what? Uh, well, what's this news? I've never heard anything like it. It's a distress signal. I'll check in with the asterism. 
Apparently, the distress signal they're hearing is from an Atlas space freight. Atlas? Atlas Corporation. The largest military conglomerate. They specialize in finance and communications. They also produce quasars and weapons. Their history is quite long. It's said they wield more influence than even the government in their own home country of Belgium, due to the ancestral line of their top brass. It's a trap. Using the distress signal of a captured ship to lure and prey is an old pirate trick. I agree. In our current condition, it's best if we avoid conflict as much as possible. You mean, just ignore them and keep going? But what if they really do need help? Too bad. We didn't hear any distress signal. Pluto and the old man aren't wrong. But Atlas is one of GT Lab's most important business partners. We have to check it out. What are the higher-ups saying? They checked in with Atlas. And apparently they didn't lose contact with the ship in the city. What? Why would they go and contact Atlas? Now we can't ignore it. HQ is so stupid sometimes. Oh damn. I guess they couldn't take care of themselves. Our patrol gears will run recon. Have Himiko and Sun on deck ready to roll out. Did you get that? You two be careful out there. Okay, will do. Roger, not a problem. This is where it was coming from. I don't see any signs of combat. Where is the ship? I'm not seeing anything fitting the description either. Not on radar. More with my own eyes. Delta, this is Zeta. We have two targets. Slightly fewer than expected. That's fine. I'll sick the dogs on them and assess their value as planned. I need you to continue monitoring. Roger that. Picking something up. Watch out! Incoming! A quasar? Their equipment is not uniform. Probably space pirates. Hey, pilot! You hear me? Something on the open channel. My name is Jack Pigeon. I'm the captain of Jack's Merry Crew. If they're pirates, then that must mean the distress signal is real. We need to clear these guys out and go help. I get that you want to help, but wait a minute. We still don't know if this is a trap or not. Sorry to keep you waiting. You two okay? Himika, son. Well, how kind of them to bring even more plunder to us. Listen up, you scurvy dogs. I want them all alive. Stellar Gears weren't designed for fighting other humans. Don't overthink it, Himiko. Stellar Gears were created in order to protect everyone from the Relayers. Anyone or anything that gets in the way of that needs to be eliminated, even if it's other humans. I know, but... Stella Gear Astoria. Ready to blaze trail. Try not to get burnt. Who dares face me? I'll back you up. Guess it's my turn. Not gonna happen. This is nothing. I'll do what I can to protect the universe. I'm 
I'm the only Mercury. No one can replace me. I can feel the will of the stars drawing near? New unidentified reading coming in hot. Look out! More quasars! They're still coming? They were probably letting us fight it out so they could come clean up. I sense it. The will of the stars from those three gears. I'm sure of it. There are star children in those. What? Well, Captain, do they meet with your, uh, approval? Yes, they look quite valuable. But the pilot are subpar. Garbage is probably a better word to describe them. Sure do tell it like it is, Captain. But that's what's so charming about you. All right, Captain. I'll leave the negotiations to you. Greetings, Asterism crew member. The transmission. I'm Mintaka, star child of Orion's belt and captain of the pirate crew known as the Star Council. And I'm Vice Captain Almlam. I'm Alnitak. I'm the Secretary, Accountant, Operations, and PR guy. And before you ask, no. I'm not just a henchman. So what do you want, Orion's belt? We want your gears. We'll let you live, as long as you do as you're told and hand them over. What you mean is you want our grab tech. What star child wouldn't want those wonderful super gravity gears you have there? Besides, we're not the sort of total losers who would get them stolen by relayers. Nice job you did with the original one. But we need these gears to get the original one back! Of course we're not gonna give them to you! Well, I tried. But no matter. The Star Council does not beg. We take what we want by force. Stellagir Astoria. Ready to blaze trails! My legend is about Try to me begin. on your size. Who dares face me? Here you go. It's time to plunder. Go get them. First star is ready to shine. I was expecting so much more from the first star. I have to say, this is pretty underwhelming. Come on, Captain. Of course they're not just gonna give up. I was hoping to avoid bloodshed. Well, aim for their cockpits. Really, Captain? Are you saying it's okay to take the lives of star children? And why not? The will of the stars will simply move on to new hosts. Our stellar gears are under serious attack by a pirate group known as the Star Council. How can Quasars... Give me a spare gear, Grandpa. I'm going out! Not a chance in hell. Fighting's wholly different from just flying around. But... but... they need my help. I can't just sit around and do nothing. There's no need. Looks like the girls are here right in the nick of time. Hello! Two reinforcements coming right up. Now I'm glad we hurried. It looks like things are even worse than we thought. You can just sit back and watch. Snipping out tumors is my job after all. Even if those tumors happen to be star children. Oh, you're too kind. 
but I don't think I'll find a better first fight than Orion's belt. So much more fitting than some ragtag group of pirates. <sighs> Fine. Just don't get carried away. I'm so glad to see you two! So sorry for the delay. Milky Way and Uranus reporting for duty. Mm. I've seen the gear sporting that color before. Target identified. How thoughtless. We're both different. Not bad. <laughs> Looks like they have at least one competent pilot. I've seen you before. You fought at the Battle of Vesta, didn't you? Who would have thought you'd become a star child and we'd cross paths again? You were with the military. I guess this too must have been foretold by the stars. I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. Commencing repairs! My legend is about to begin. Rest in film! Follow my lead. You won't get away. Not bad. That one got me! <laughs> I'll back you up. It's time to plunder, Jamaraki. Captain and I will rule to get. I'll back you up. Let's do it. Let my guard down. Healing up. What have you done? Go now. Your aim is shaky. Let's get rolling, Odaka. It's time to move out. what I can to protect the universe. Take this! A direct hit! <laughs> you really thought you could beat me? <laughs> I've upped my game. 
Right. Off to work we go. We're not getting paid by the minute here. Hurry up, would you? Directed! What? I pride myself on flawless work. Not on commission. Let's get this over with. Got one in range. That was a good one. I pride myself on flawless work. to shot. Unfortunately, the odds aren't in our favor, and ammo ain't free, so if we're gonna bail, now's the time. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Stop fighting, everyone. And why should we? Didn't you say you're the Star Council? Why do all this? Why not just come work for me? Huh? I don't get it. I know all about you. You're that mysterious pirate crew that'll do anything for money. From piracy to mercenary work. Instead of doing all that, don't you think it would be smarter to work for me? By Milky Way, of course. I'm not laughing. I save your life, and yet you turn down my amazing offer. You're pretty rude for being the next Atlas heir. I don't know what you're talking about. No one's ever saved my life. That scar on your left side. <sighs> Who was it that got wounded at the Battle of Vesta and cried like a little baby? It wasn't easy sewing your intestines back inside you while trying to leave as little scarring as possible. <sighs> That was you. Fine. Out of respect for you, I'll let this go. You're a smart little girl. Tack. Lamb. Let's go. Ugh. What? But we almost... 
almost had them! As the one who handles our budget, I'm okay with this decision. Mintaka, wait! What if we teamed up? I don't see the benefit. You'd just be dead weight. Wait, I... never did catch your name. I'm Uranus. Uranus. I'll... remember that. I've leveled up. <laughs> I've upped my game. The sun glows a little bit brighter. Sis, I'd like to become strong like you. We're home. We all made it back safe. Who are you even talking to? No one else is on board this ship. Leave me alone. It makes it feel like home. Right, Captain? Any mail while we were gone. Hmm, let me see. What do we got here? Just one from your stupid old man. Something about how he wants to see you soon and blah, blah, blah. Here. <laughs> what? You just visited. I feel so bad for you every time you have to see him face to face. What exactly is the blah, blah, blah? He says, uh, he's almost done with a weapon prototype and wants us to test it out. He also wants us to visit Earth and stop by the Belgium HQ. That's not just a bunch of other stuff. Good. Tell him we're coming and that we need to resupply as well. Cool. Will do. Just to make sure, do you really want to forget about the Stellar Gears? And let an opportunity like that get away. Not a chance. We're taking them as soon as we get the opportunity. Thanks for coming, you two. Wait a minute. Where's your Uranus? I thought she came aboard with me. Hello. Brought you a little treat. These are the special candies that Himiko wanted. It was a limited run, so they were hard to find. Thank you, Uranus. Let's try that again. Thanks for coming. We appreciate it. We just wish we could have prevented the original one from being stolen. But we did make it in time to help everyone out just now. So at least there's that. By the by, son, you were in poor form out there. <sighs> I have no excuse. Yes, I'm not as good as I thought I was. The sun may set. But it always rises again. They haven't seen the last of me. I'm just shocked the three stars of Orion came after us like that. I wasn't expecting it. I wish they would have joined us. Or at least agreed to help. We'd be so much closer to getting the original one back. Everyone else has agreed to join pretty easily so far. I doubt the Star Council has given up on our stellar years. We're maintaining high alert status and leaving the debris field immediately. Just my type, cutie. Allow me to introduce myself again. I am Milky Way, possessor of the will of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Her family owns Milky Way Shipbuilding. They're the primary investor and sponsor of the ship. Ah, yes. One of the big three military industrial firms, along with Atlas and Zoth. A firm with an illustrious history of shipbuilding. It has been operating since well before the age of space exploration. Right, but I'm a star child, just like everyone else here. So no need to treat me sp <sighs> Look out! Whoa there. How many times do I have to tell you? You need to take it easy. <sighs> Thanks for looking out for me, Uranus. Hey, are you okay? Oh, don't worry. Happens all the time. She's fine. 
I'm embarrassed to admit it, but I have a delicate constitution. I just got a little dizzy there. Thanks for your concern. Okay, greeting time is over. Time to go to your room and rest. Is that okay, Captain? Uh, best to rest up while you can. I think I'll go do that then. Please excuse me. Wait, Mothway. I'll show you the way. I suppose you're next, then. Uh, what do you mean? We have time. Come with me a little while. Examination complete. Fortunately, I did not detect any major abnormalities. <sighs> I've never done one of these before. I was a little bit nervous. So, you're a doctor then? Yep. I'll be taking care of the health needs of everyone on board. Especially star children. Now, about your memory loss. I agree that it's highly likely trauma-induced amnesia brought on by the gravity loss. We call it psychogenic amnesia. Psychogenic amnesia? It's a retrograde amnesia that leaves you unable to remember painful past experiences and events, as well as specific people. Retro... Huh? Sorry. Can you please explain it to me in simpler terms? But very simply, it's a memory disorder brought on by psychological stress that causes you to forget your past. Can it be treated? It's a psychological disorder, so it's trickier to treat than a physical illness or injury, for example. I see. Hypnosis and amobarbital interviews have proven effective for some people. We can try and find some time to give it a shot if you're interested. To use a cliche, however, Sometimes ignorance really is bliss. It might bring back some unpleasant memories for you. Let's do it, Dan. Please. I have to find out why my sister hates me so much. I can't have a real conversation with her. I don't know what happened. <sighs> okay. I'll start getting things ready. Until then, I want you to tell me if anything comes back to you. Even if it's trivial. Thank you. Um, I've been meaning to ask, what is it you always have in your mouth? This? Oh, it's just candy. I would never indulge in more harmful vices. The sugar gives my brain a boost when I'm tired. Candy? You want one? Um, sure. Okay. That'll be 300 credits. Uh, you want money? That price is a bit steep. Well, yeah, why not? Gotta make money where I can. I've got loans to pay off, you know? Are you in some kind of debt? Yep. Sugar babies aren't cheap. And it's hard to say no. Stay away from Playboys, okay? Uh, okay. Well, exam's over. Don't see anything I can bill you for, so... Thank you so much. I guess I'll be... Going. It's me. I just finished her medical exam. I'll send over my findings and the DNA sample. Thanks. You sure are fast. Regarding her memory loss, I did find damage to one area of her brain involving memory. I didn't tell her, though. That helps. It might have something to do with why we can't dig up any info on her. So, we'd like to have the Asterism head to the Zoth Corp shipbuilding port at the Orbital Ring. Zoth? Ah, the conglomerate that's gotten huge over the past ten years. They were even producing quasars for the military. This is unacceptable. There's a Milky Way port there too. All those ports to choose from, and for some reason you go with Zoth? Yes, I know all about the dynamics at play here. We would also very much prefer to have the Asterism repaired at a Milky Way port. However, at the moment, the Milky Way port is on the other side of the Earth. It's too far. Fine then. 
I guess we really don't have a choice then, do we? We won't let them view classified GT Labs tech up close. South will only be repairing the hull and replacing a few parts. Have maintenance take care of the internals. Understood. That takes care of the asterisk. Now if only Neil could come up with some leads on those relayers. Hey Isaac, I'm here to hang out again. What's going on with the asterisk? I just had them head to Zoth's shipyard. As we expected, Milky Way wasn't happy about it. How about you lot? Just got some of Terra's personal info and DNA from Uranus. We might be able to make some progress on her background. Hey Isaac, why don't you go home already? Oh, don't you start it on me too. Stick? Yes. When's the last time you showered? It's only been five days. Oh my, and when were you planning on taking another? When I'm done with work. Out. All right, all right. I'll go home. Hey, what is it you wanted today? Oh, that's right. That B.O. of yours almost made me forget. Okay, I get it already. The girls over in your department asked me to say something to you about it. All right, really, that's enough. Oh, wait. Could it be that you like one of them? Wait, is this what's happening? I can't believe it. I wonder who it is. Did you hear him? Why, I... I would never mix personal affairs with work like that. <laughs> I guess a lot of girls are after him. Well, he is smart and successful. I guess it makes sense. So what did you want? Is it about the Atlas ship? Yeah. I looked into the nav and port records thoroughly, and something smells funny. Okay, I get it already. I stink. Oh, sorry. Poor choice of words. The long and short of it is, such a ship never actually existed. The vessel's info was registered with legal, and nav and port records do exist, but no one's ever actually seen the thing. So it's a real ghost ship. The existence of port records would mean someone there had actually seen it. Right? Every port this ship docked at was owned by Atlas Group. I think you can put two and two together. I've heard that Atlas has an off-the-books pirate crew. Maybe that's the ghost ship that sent out the distress signal. I mean, it's obvious why Atlas would be after super graph drives. There's a rumor that they're working on their own graph tank. So, they walked right into the old man's trap. What surprises me most is that Atlas has three star children. I had no idea. They're obligated to report the discovery of new star children under their agreement with GT Labs. Not only did they fail to do that, but they're using them as some private mercenary crew. Something's up. Reminds me of the UEG military several years ago. Relayers are a threat to all of us. You'd think people could work together for just a minute. You can leave the ship in my capable hands. Welcome! How can I help you? What can I do for ya? What can I do for ya?
you. What can I do for you? What can I do for ya? You can leave the ship in my capable hands. <laughs> 